Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Neighbors and I help coaches just like yourself start private training businesses or scale them to six or seven figures. So if you want to learn more about our process, how it works, if you want to see a laundry list of, of coaches that we've already done this with, go right below here. You're going to see my phone number. You can text me there if you want, um, or you can click through the school group that we have. You can see testimonials, see how our program works. All that's there. All right. Now in this video, I'm going to answer three of the probably the most common questions I ever get from people that are not making six figures yet. Whether you're trying to do this full time and make six figures, or maybe you've been doing this for a while and you haven't cracked six figures yet, these questions are very common that I get. And I'm doing this because I get a lot of text messages throughout the week that have these three questions. And this is gonna be a, a, a one and done type of thing for me, all right? So here we go. So the first question that I always get Everybody asks me this question, but, but people, they, they want some sort of different answer that I give. Uh, but the question is, I'm brand new to business, where do I start? Now, most people who ask me this question, they already have clients. These, these are people that, like, they've already kind of taken the steps to go get some, some customers, but they don't have like a legit business set up yet. And here's what you need to know. There is a difference between being a skills trainer and having a skills training business. If you have a skills training business, you end up making way more money than people who are just skills trainers. And it's sad to say this, but I'll just say it out loud. At least 80% of coaches out there that have Instagram pages, um, it looks like they have a skills training business, but they don't. They are skills trainers. They are doing this on the side. They are doing this as a hustle. They are not doing this as a real legitimate business that feeds them and their family, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is actually set up and start a real business because you limit yourself so much when you don't have a legit business. Like you can't have contracts. You can't have payment systems. You can't uh, like, have a, a streamlined company if you don't have a company, all right? So you either need to set up a, an LLC or a sole proprietorship. There's other types of business formations you could set up. I always tell coaches, go talk with a local CPA that's in your state. They're gonna give you the best advice on exactly what type of business, but you need to start a business. Don't do this any longer like if you're watching this video and you don't have a business set up and you want to take this serious, you need to set up an actual business. And I have seen people like, I mean, it sounds crazy when I say this, but I have seen people who don't have a business, they go start a business, next month they're making way more money. Want to know why? Well, they have more skin in the game now. So they, they are taking themselves more seriously because they have a business and also their customers take them more serious because they have a legit thing, right? That is a huge difference between people that go on and do this as a career and people who just do this as a summer thing okay so go start a business i have other videos on our channel that walk through different aspects uh, aspects of that but that's the first thing now starting a business is not going to go make you a hundred thousand dollars but it's going to be way more likely to make a hundred thousand dollars per year if you have a legit business set up than not having it all right so that's the foundation that's number one the next one I get this question probably five times per day now, and I help people do this day to day in their business. So again, if you want help with that, go below, you're gonna see my number there, all right? But it's, I'm stuck at fill in the blank clients. So it's, I'm stuck at 10 clients, I'm stuck at 20 clients, I'm stuck at 100 clients. Um, how can I grow my business over the next 30 days? So a lot of coaches that ask me this, what I do is I put them through a process, all right? And I'll put you through this process right now so you can kind of hear me say this and you can write down like yes or no to the questions that, that I'm about to ask you. And if you say no to the questions that I'm about to ask you, there's so much room for growth in your business. It is insane, all right? Now, if you say yes to all of these and you're still stuck, I, I, I would be absolutely shocked, okay? But the first question is, have you done a legit referral program? Like, have you gotten on a, on a phone call with every single customer and put them through a process to incentivize them to give you new customers? Yes or no? I can assure you, if you're watching this, you probably haven't done that. That one thing alone will help you get new customers like that, depending on what you say, how you package it, um, the deadlines you give people. I mean, there's, there's several components to that, 
but that's the first thing I would actually bring up in your business. Have you, like, when's the last time you've done that? Do you do it every month? Have you just never done it? All right, that's the, that's the first one. The second one is, do you actually call leads? Are they just messaging you and you're giving them information or you're emailing them or you're texting them because you don't want to talk to them? Um, most coaches in this space don't actually call parents when they inquire. I can tell you right now, that is hindering you so much with your business because you can go from, and I, I've, I see this happen like, like pretty much daily at this point. You can go from like 30 clients to 40 clients. And those 10 new clients that you sign up could represent like $30,000. Like, I, I, I'm not kidding. You could, you could just be charging way more, but you would be putting parents through a process where you're actually talking to them and you're not just like DMing information, right? That's the old way of doing this business. It's just DMing, texting, like texting what your pricing is. People that want to take your program seriously, they don't want to be treated that way. They want to be talked to. And they want, they, they are willing to go through a process, right? And that's not just me telling you to do that. I had to do that with my business. And once I did that, this business became way easier, all right? But that's where you have to learn sales and go through a process there, okay? Uh, so do you actually call your leads? Most coaches don't, all right? And then that leads to my next one, is do you consistently reach out to people if they haven't committed yet? Like, do you, do you reach out to these leads? Is it just one time and then that's it and, and you aren't gonna have anything to do with them? Or are you constantly reaching out to them until they do something? Like they give you a clear yes or a clear no. And then also with that on the back end, are, are you actually email marketing to them? Are you text marketing to them? Like most coaches would say no, all right? But I'm asking you that if you're watching this video, all right? Next is what promotions are you actually running throughout the year to stay in front of them, to bring them in as a customer? My best, most successful clients that we work with right now, they run at least one promotion per month, at least one per month. That is to current clients, non-clients, and old clients, All right? So non-clients would be like leads, people who've shown interest that have, have not done anything yet. Old clients are people who used to pay, they're not paying anymore, to get them back in, reactivate those people. So if you have that set up in your business, like, it's, it's common sense for me because like I, I do it every day with coaches we work with, but like you're going to end up making significantly much more money in this industry and in your business if you have a promotion once per month. Like, because if you have that set up, you have marketing happening all of the time, trying to bring in new people, trying to upgrade people. That's the sort of stuff that can separate you from any local competitor. And I know your local competitors aren't doing that because there's a very small percentage of coaches in this industry that actually do it. And those are the people that we work with, all right? Uh, next one here is like, what are you doing to legit advertise your business? Like, I mean, I could give you a million different ideas, but what are you doing to get new people interested? Are you doing paid ads? Uh, are you going out to games? Do you have flyers set up? Like, do people even know about you? What are you doing to legit get the word out, all right? And there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different ways we help people do that. But most coaches out there, they get stuck at a certain level in their business. They aren't doing anything with marketing. And if you wanna grow from 30 clients to 100 clients, gotta get good at marketing. Like it requires more buyers, people that don't know you yet, okay? So that's that's a question I would ask you. Is what, if, what are you doing to actually market your business? Uh, Next is like, how are you measuring if that's working or not? Like, are you just doing the, the social media play where you're uploading videos to Instagram and you get likes and views, but you're not turning those people into customers? Like, are you willing to change your process? Uh, because what you're doing right now may not, may not be working. Are you even tracking it in the first place? So this comes down to taking a step back as a business owner and being like, all right, like, is this working or not? and be willing to change and be willing to try to learn new things that can help you grow your business, okay? Uh, next one here is, and this is my favorite one, but it's, do you have at least five people, five new people per week raising their hands saying they wanna train with you? Now, if the answer is no, we can change that. The answer should be yes, if you are marketing, if you have your, your stuff dialed in. 
Um, but imagine how different your business is going to feel and, and be if you have five new people per week that are like begging to work with you. That is very different than getting the random DM on Instagram saying, hey coach, how much do you charge? That is, that's not what I'm talking about. Like these are five people that are like raising their hand. Hey, we want to work with you. Hey, we want to apply. Hey, we want to do an eval. Like we want hungry people to work with you, all right? Uh, so that's that's another question there that, that I'd have for you. And then the other thing, uh, the last one here is, if your training is good, people should want to tell others about it. So if it's, if you aren't getting referrals right now, I might be the only person that would tell you this, but it's the truth. Your program probably isn't as good as it could be. So if your program gets better, people naturally want to talk to others about you. Now you can't just use that as the only way of marketing. Like if you're wanting to aggressively scale this business, yes, you can get a lot of clients from word of mouth and you can have a very successful business uh, with word of mouth. I know, I mean, I can think of a hundred people just off the top of my head right now that I work with that they don't do a ton of marketing. They just have a great training program and they can have a six figure business, but it's because their, their training program is really, really, really good. It's top notch. People want to talk about it. And when those coaches then turn on marketing in different areas, they can, they can scale their business to a completely different planet because their program's good. And every new customer they get there, that new customer is going to go tell other people about it. All right, but odds are for you, if people aren't talking about your program, your, your program is probably not good enough. So we need to improve that. And there are a lot of different ways to improve it, okay? So, so far we've covered I'm brand new to business, what should I do first? We just covered I'm stuck at X amount of clients, how can I grow my business? Uh, the next one here, super common question I get, but it's how can I get clients to become more committed, okay? And I'm telling you right now, the difference between most people that run this business, that don't make 100K per year, or that maybe they're not doing it full time, versus the people that are, that are that are absolutely crushing in this industry, it's because of one key thing. The people that are doing really well financially and they have really committed clients, they just have committed customers. And coaches that don't have that set up yet, they run the hamster wheel because like you might have 30 clients right now, but when we get to Christmas, that might drop to 20. And then you gotta go add 10 new people to get back to where you are right now. Uh, and that's not what we want. We want you to have a sense of peace with your business, meaning there's stability. So when we get to December 1st or to Christmas, for example, however many clients you have right now, that number doesn't change when you get to December 25th. Like you have the same amount of clients. And so each new client that you add right now is just building on top of that. That's the difference between committed clients and uncommitted clients. So, so we got we to figure that out for you, all right? And a couple of notes I have here. We got to be able to break old patterns and limiting beliefs that you have about business. And one of the fastest ways, and I'm not saying this just so you join my program, but one of the fastest ways to break limiting beliefs is, is when you spend time around people who are doing what you want to do. All right. So let me give you this example. If you were in our program right now and you saw one of the posts that, that happened over the weekend, this coach did like, I think it was $24,000 last month in his business. And when you spend time around people like that, you start to quickly realize, oh, they're just a normal person, but they're playing business at a higher level than me. And what that does for you is it normalizes success. It normalizes that, yes, that is achievable. It's not just some guy on YouTube talking about it, right? It's you're actually spending time with people that are doing things at a higher level that you could be achieving. And when you spend time around that type of person, you quickly realize like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Okay, I'm just gonna start going to do that. And that's, that's the power of our community that we have with our programmers, like people openly share what's working, what's not working. And so you can quickly avoid mistakes and you can implement what's already working. Okay. So that's a really big one though. It's, it's, you gotta be able to break old patterns though, because if you're so stubborn in your business and you're not willing to make changes, it doesn't matter 
how many videos you watch about growing your business. It doesn't matter the, the techniques and strategies that you learn. It's, it matters what you do. Like, are you willing to give up the old way of doing business and start doing it the new way? If so, your business is going to radically change. Yeah, but that's sometimes a hard thing for people to do. It's like, well, I'm, I'm so used to doing it this way. I don't know if I want to try it this new way because I haven't done it yet. And it's just fear. It's fear because you haven't done it yet. All right. So uh, next one here, it, and this is one of my favorite ones. And I, I say this to people every day. It's like, you gotta be willing to say no to parents that aren't committed. Like I said earlier in the video, like that extra 200 to thousand dollars that, that people give you per month that are flaky and i've said this on other videos it's like that short term getting the money is not going to create a successful business and oftentimes when i dig deep into coaches businesses i see that they have a lot of customers but they don't have the right customers so you might be watching this right now and being like yeah when's the ask yourself when's the last time i've said no to someone before they joined our program. Have you ever said that? Does that make you cringe thinking, gosh, like I don't even know how I would say that. So gotta ask yourself that though, because when you say no, you set a higher standard for who you want to train and you start clipping away and weeding out people who shouldn't be with you. That one thing right there it's gonna completely change your business. I can talk about it all day long. I can tell you what to do. You've got to do it though. Got to do it. Uh, next one: clients need to sign a contract. That's very basic. Like we can give you a contract that's proven to work uh, with clients that are committed. So if that's something you want, let me know. Uh, clients need one way to pay. I can't tell you how important this is, but if you are if you're doing business and you have like Venmo, Cash App, Check. Uh, they can pay you cash. They can pay in Bitcoin. Like, I mean, I mean, it's like, if you have too many different methods of payment, it's going to be too hard for you to track everything. And what we want is we want one way that people can pay you. And we want them to be automatically billed on set days. And we want clients to be on a contract. I want you to be able to make a sale and never talk to that customer ever again about money. That's how it should be, right? Imagine going to, to your local gym and every time you check in, they're like, hey, can you give me the $15 that you owe us for today's uh, session? Like, that's so annoying for them. That's so annoying for you. But oftentimes, coaches in the space, that, that's what you're doing with your customers right now. And when you break away from that pattern and that habit, you'll be able to have a streamlined business that makes way more money. All right, and that's just that's just the truth. Like coaches that we work with that break away from that, like they end up making so much more money in this business. It's it's insane, but it's just one tweak. All right, and that's how you get clients more committed, though. So you need one way that your clients can pay, not six hundred different ways. All right, and the last one here, where we talk about how how can I get my clients more committed, it's you need to take yourself more seriously, and when you do that your clients take you more seriously, okay? So I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine two different coaches. One is completely disorganized. Clients can pay whenever they want. They can show up whenever they want. They can text the coach the night before and say, hey, we can't make it tomorrow. And this coach now is not making money that day because he was relying on three clients to show up and all three said they can't come and, and do the training session. And this coach is just week to week, grinding it out, trying to get people there, people not showing up. He should be making like 2K a week, but he's not. He's making like maybe 500 a week because his clients aren't committed. And then there's the other coach. The other coach is extremely organized. Clients pay up front. He's not talking to his clients about money. He has set day, set times of training. He knows that Mondays and Fridays are not gonna be training anyone. He knows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's when his sessions are. And he's making 8K a month doing this as a full-time living because he's got his stuff in order. The, the good news is if you're watching this video, 
you get to determine which person you want to be. And it doesn't matter to me how disorganized you are right now or how seriously you take yourself right now. It's, it's when you decide to make that change though, other people, your, your clients will follow you. And how do I know this? It's because I used to be that first coach. I loved training. I loved helping kids. I saw myself doing this a full-time thing. I just, I wasn't organized. I didn't have my stuff together. I wasn't on it. And when I made that change though, like I had to level up here. My clients that were down here, the ones who were serious, they had to level up. And then as I started to grow my business, I, my expectations started to creep up even higher. And all the new customers that worked with me, like we had to, they had to keep meeting me where I was at because I took myself seriously. And it's the same way now. If, if I work with you and you're a coach that wants to join our program, I have very high standards. Not every coach gets to work with me. I don't wanna work with everyone. I wanna work with the right people. So if you want your clients more committed, you wanna get to a level where you're doing this full time or, or you're, you're hitting past six figures per year, go below this video, text me there. That's the first way to get in contact with me. I'll set up a free 10 to 15 minute call with you, learn more about your business, see if and how I can help. And uh, I can't wait to chat with you, coach. That's it. Have a blessed day.